the idea is that some devs or publishers of a game have some faith in their game and think that my audience would enjoy it. And they reach out to me, or to Hannah, who does all of my backend work. And me and Hannah agree. Game looks sweet. And I agree to show it off on my channel. I don't sign anything that says I'm not allowed to say negative things about games. I just pledge to, like, try to keep a positive tone and explore the things that are cool about the game instead of, like, spending a couple of hours trying my hardest to make it look awful, right? That's... It should be a fairly obvious and reasonable <laughs> to, to people who live in the world. So that's what I'm going to do. A lot of people like my sponsored content more than my Spire content, which is interesting. Also, I think I spelled the name wrong in the title. There's an extra A that I missed. Oops. Um... Other stuff to tell you about this. This is sponsored by XD, which is actually the name of the sponsor who is sponsoring me, which I think is hilarious. It's out on PC via Steam. It is an epic war and strategy game. You build up your own elite forces, unlock unique abilities, and upgrade skills for large-scale battles and skirmishes. There's like a strategic layer, and then you go into battles, which are real-time, and you have units with abilities in them and stuff. And a bunch of different classes and adventures and so on and so forth. I was scrambling to start the stream today and forgot to add a command for this game. So there you go, now you have one. Unless that one already existed. Did that work? Looks like that worked. All right. So I'm gonna play story mode. I'm just gonna play on normal difficulty, I think. Seems like a good vibe. New players, start here! NPCs invade less frequently, high level troops and arcane creatures are easy to recruit. Troops are wounded less often and will not disband. You may roll to evade attacks with no limit. You're Sure, why not? I like this voice acting. That war took my father. It makes my ears happy. My mother. My homeland. Everything. The black sun rose in the sky, heralding destruction. You've protected mankind for a thousand years. Who am I to judge? But it all started with you. Now, I will be the one to finish it. It's weird. I'm looking at the audio levels, and it's definitely louder on one side of my headphones than the other, which is sort of interesting. We can play as the Spirit Mancer, Spirit Witch, Jackal, Shaman, Knight Errant. Berserker, Sentinel, Sultan, Plot Quests, or the Nameless, which I guess is a character that we can make on our own. Cool. I'm just going to be the Spirit Mancer. It says that it's one star difficulty and has presented to me as the first one, so I'll trust the doves and try it out. You are a spirit mancer. There are many spirit mancers in this land, but you are considered particularly noteworthy. Control over memories, thoughts, and illusions may be your bread and butter, but you had the best keep a low profile so long as there's a bounty on your head. I can concentrate pure negativity into energy balls that deal explosive damage. Oh my god, it's me. It's me IRL. 
<laughs> or summon up a shade to fight by my side. Spiromancers can also blink across short distances. Oh, Sands of Selzar? Oh, I just had the A in the wrong place. I'm a dummy. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long month. I have a follower named Zainab, a skilled Hasashin, and my only family. As talented students of Arcana, Spirit Mansers may learn and compete any branch of talents. Cool. So we have different... are these presets? I like that one. This avatar will be used as the character's avatar. If you select custom items, it will be replaced with the custom avatar. Replace with the custom avatar. Yes, I think so. I want to get a haircut. IRL. But I don't like have the creative energy right now to think of what my hair could look like. <laughs> I love this mustache. This mustache is so incredible. I like this. I don't really like most of these. That looks like, um, that looks like you can see the guy's brain. Out of, oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> Incredible. Outstanding. Jorpsimus. Legacy selection. Choose starting resources redeemed using legacy points earned by completing playthroughs. I have 60, it looks like. So this is meta progression. The more that we play, the more points we can start with. Let's just jump to the target location, dropping from midair in a downward cleave upon landing, attack all nearby enemies, launch all enemies airborne. Damage and AoE, and CC, all of those things seem good. Is there more CC somewhere? Eight hundred cubits. We're not using a metric or imperial. We're using cubits. Also take into the shadows so I can become invisible. That seems sweet. Money. Other thing. Sure, let's take some resources. Simple enough. The other stuff I can choose. Looks like if I was wealthier, I could get a squad member. And I can change some game settings. Unlocks a troop slot, does not increase max. A sword belonging to the nameless, you can't equip this, increases class points by 120. There are a lot of things. Games like this can be quite um, intense at the start. My strategy is to just do stuff and see what happens instead of trying to understand everything that's going on right at the beginning. Are we vibing? We're sort of vibing. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's a little bit loud. But we are a little bit vibing right now. Okay. You are a spirit mancer. 
There are many wizards in the land, but you are unique even among them. Erasing memories, controlling minds, creating illusions, these are your unique tricks as a spirit mancer. But you must act discreetly, for the name Jorbsimus remains a prominent one on the wanted posters in the underworld. Being dizzy again. Who are you? I'm Zainab. I'm your wife's younger sister. Are there still a lot of things you can't remember? Memories of a woman floating in your mind, your deceased wife. Are we still going to Amaranth Town? Can I click this? No, he's just telling me it's the location, I guess. Zainab is worried about your health. Her words remind you that you came back from hell with one goal, to find the one who took everything from you. Having come back from death, your powers are much diminished. Your desire for revenge, however, remains strong. I follow a Zainab on Twitter. You're in a merchant's camp nestled inside a valley. Beyond lies the desert. Skills, Edna, consumables. Shift, speed up game, hold position, camera distance, sprint, inventory, map, quest, intel, party. Can I like screenshot this maybe? Take a screenshot of that. I like that they give me that at the start. It's just like, that's sort of more useful to me than a 15 minute tutorial where they teach me each button one at a time. <laughs> And I can just screenshot it and then see. So here's my party interface. Why do I have skill? Ooh. Okay. Oh, does this not actually unlock? It's just a thing that I can learn when I level. I have one skill point, right? Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's not as good as I thought it was. Oops. This reminds me of Diablo 2. Alright, we'll just do that. Does Zainab have any skills? Yep. Zainab's way stronger than me. Oh my god, is it a dating sim? What do you think of me, Zainab? I think you are a very good person. I hope we can have more contacts in the future. Is there anything I can tell you? We're good. Also reminds me of Dragon Age Origins, which is another excellent game. How do I talk to people? I wonder. Can I do that? Go to Amaranth Town in... Oh, there we go. You're new here, right? Maybe I can answer some questions. Who are you? Uh, me? I'm just a nobody. There are many travelers in the desert, some of whom have remarkable abilities. You could become friends with them or become enemies. Perhaps there will come a day when you and your friend find yourselves on opposing sides of a conflict. Any more questions? Wait, really? I can fight against Zaina? That's not cool. Which way? To Redstone Keep? Some keep is not far from here. There's a caravan around here that's about to depart. Just talk to the leader and he should let you go with them. Redstone Keep is the nearest destination at the end of a long, winding canyon. But you can also follow them to other locations further away. The Zagros Mountains, the Great Desert, Umbra Cliffs, you name it. There are many caravans in the desert traveling between the major cities and the land, and they know their way around. If you want to head to a new city, just find a caravan headed that way and follow them. Any more questions? What about current events? There are five major tribes. Oh my gosh, that's so... I'm good. <laughs> that's so many tribes. I don't have that much space in my, uh, in my mind. I'm sorry. We'll learn later. Yeah. You hear faint calls for help, carried by the wind. The wind gets stronger and the sound becomes clearer. After a while, you finally get to see the owner of the voice. Busy middle-aged man, dressed in ragged clothes, carrying an old staff. He grasps a masked woman's hand and runs desperately. Chasing him is a group of humanoid monsters ensconced with flame! Save me! Before you can respond, humanoid creatures made of living flesh rush! Living fire. What is living fire? Rush towards you with cruel intent. Alright, I played one fight earlier, so I learned that I can press space to do a to do an evasive roll. 
Run for your lives! If I keep it in that cloud, does it take extra damage? Oh, it does. Okay. Or maybe that was my auto attack, actually. I think that might have been my auto attack. Victory! I caused 1.5k damage and took 229. Where was Zainab? Where was Zainab when the West March fell? A known man is gasping for breath. Woo! Thank you for your help. May I ask the name of my savior? Jorbsimus. How do they know? How do they know that's my name? What if I'd chosen something else? <laughs> my name is Malak. I am a scholar. He points to the masked woman. She is Isra, an orphan I picked up in a twin Luna Valley. She was interested in my studies, so I took her with me. What do you study? Ah, in an age of war, it seems like a useless profession. No, I'm studying the history of this land, not the old emperor. Or the Mish the Machina age. But something very obscure. He smiles wryly. As long as you're okay. These monsters appeared after the black sun rose in the sky. They appear human. They even have human faces. Because their bodies are covered in flame, we call them Ifrit. Why did they attack you? If you're lucky, you'll never encounter one. I already did. Ifrit are violent by nature. They especially like to attack humans, human mages in particular. This kind of weak Ifrit isn't even self-aware. But it's sad... It said more powerful Ifrit are smarter than a human. I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you. Please accept this token of our gratitude. You really are a kind person. The area ahead is dangerous. I suggest you proceed with caution. You got a hundred Utar. You think I can date the Historian? Who knows? Q Moltrap. Malak and Isra express their gratitude, then they continue upon their journey. You discover that Ifrit deteriorate very quickly. Like burned charcoal, they fall apart bit by bit until they are finally blown away in the wind. The Battle of the Black Sun has made this world unrecognizable, but people have never stopped fighting it. The appearance of such a monster is unlikely to change anyone's dreams of conquest. You brace your head against the wind and press forward. Does the damage I just took stay? It doesn't look like there's damage staying. Anyone headed to the red? Are we headed to the Redstone Valley? The scroll returns you to the city. It can be used an infinite number of times. It requires a seven-day cooldown. I have one food. Maybe it would have been a good idea to have more than one food. At the end of the valley, you see a caravan preparing to head out into the desert. They are willing to take you with them and give you a trade department. Alright, so I meant to go to Redstone Valley. What I've been told. It's a big world, isn't it? Uh, view messages received in game. View your currently current legacy point. Gratitude. Oh, so I'm actually pretty, like, strong in terms of meta progression already. I meant to reach level 3 somehow. Another adventurer. Do you follow the caravan here? Don't look surprised. That's how I came to Selzar sell sell as well. People always seem to complain about how far they have to travel and how small their bag is. Filled with too many weapons, broken, and in need of repair, they say. I won't stand for that. Me, I'm an old leather worker. In fact, I can help expand your inventory for the right amount of Utar, of course. Speak with me anytime. Also, if you trust me, I'd be more than happy to hold on to a few of your loose items for free. Uh, that's expensive. Mm. Wait, that doesn't open my inventory? Does C open my inventory? Nope. I have good news. I took a screenshot of this. B opens my inventory. Greatly increases movement and attack speed of allies within a large range can be used in battle. Oh, wait. I don't know what that is, but it seems like it's leaving the area, so...
Binventory. Exactly. Stable or livestock are reared. Who knows what other mounts this vendor may. Oh, we can buy horses. Traveling merchant's tent. I don't have enough guitar to hire troops, but I know that fighting alone is too dangerous. I learned that a trainer was selling war animals. Who knew what that they would be more expensive than people? I agree. I have a rage elixir. We used to just call that whiskey when I was a kid. Oh! There's a thing! What's attacking me? Manual battle, auto battle. Oh my god, that is more than one thing. Zaynep's dead?! <laughs> Zaynep's just dead?! Zaynep, why did you do that? <laughs> My wife's sister. <laughs> oh no. Is this a retreat? Zainab reached level 2 and received a skill point. I don't think that's what happened, game. <laughs> that's not what I saw happen. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, apparently if Zainab dies, at least on this difficulty, he returns to life again. I have a, an ability that I can give you. I didn't see her use any abilities. I just saw her run into the enemy team and die. Am I meant to control her? Maybe I'm meant to control her as well. When the DM sighs and fudges the combat and outcome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Alright, I'm gonna save and get these my next level up, I think. What is this? Gathering of Bandits! Explanation mode regiment. Note, take your companions with you and you can't respawn after being defeated in exploration mode. Recommend level 3, prep time 0 hour. That's some sort of dungeon. Ooh, a prestige shard. Excellent. A limestone. Oh, there's flower gathering? <laughs> what does a limestone flower do? We don't know. Do we have to eat it to find out? over the way. That is a huge horsey. Maybe I should actually talk with this other NPC. Oh! You do not do a lot of talking, huh? You just offer me a horse. He didn't find out was an excellent thing about Skyrim. Um, Spellcaster University did that too, which I quite enjoyed. What is this one? This is the kind of holding cell where the guards mistreat their prisoners. If you can defeat the guards, the prisoner might just join your party. Recommend level five? I am not level five. That's absolutely not the level that I am. A banner. Forces can regroup here after being defeated in battle. Set this location as your party's rally point. Sure. Hey, it's nighttime. You haven't heard of the famous Desert Brotherhood? Hand over your valuables if you value your life. I do not value my life. The joke is on you. Oh, Zainab is murdering all of them. Oh, they're all dead. Zainab, why didn't you do this last time? They're all aggroed on me. Hell yeah, Zainab. 
King's Data King, thanks for the 14 months. The bottom left gives procedural updates on the NPC's world. Okay, hold up. Messages, news, markets will open soon. In three days in Redstone Keep, the Artisan Bazaar will open. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Wellington, thank you very much for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. I am playing on normal difficulty. So I do not expect the combat to be perfectly balanced. I expect the game to just be fun. I've come back to see you. Traveler, my brother was killed here during the Battle of the Black Sun. He was a brave, brave man. Do you know your letters, Traveler? I need someone to help me write down my brother's story so that more people can know of his exploits. Do you know your letters, Traveler? Really? That's great. This story is quite long. I hope that's okay. Would you like to hear a soldier's tale from a time long past? Sure. Thank you, Traveler. I will tell this story to you in exquisite detail. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is cool. We were brothers in arms who met during the Battle of the Black Sun. I was concerned by the Oryx as a rank and file soldier. Oh, you must be new around here. Hello. Haha, <laughs> hey there. You don't look too well. I'm about to be sent to my death in battle. What on earth is this fool prattling on about? Hey, you lot, stop chit chatting and come finish your training. Oh my god, brave warriors. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. All right, Brave Warrior is sort of OP. Did I just lose? I can't really remember, I've got a headache. Let me take a rest. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to get stronger. Recommended level three again. I need one more level somehow. Perhaps the beast. Zainab, what the fuck? They all like lose targeting of her when she goes invisible the first time, I think. And then if I just run around, she kills everything. Well done, Zainab. And we're level three. We got an iron sword. Wood, wooden... How do you pronounce this word? Is it Quiras? Exactly for Utar. Curas. Curious? Curious. Everybody has said a different thing. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's grab reduce cooldown. And call shape. Is this a mana cost or a cooldown? Don't know. And you can have one more of these. Quiras? Quiras. Quiras. Alright. Well, now I can do this stuff. Wait, I did this. I reached level 3. Why isn't it checked? Gathering of bandits. Let's try out one of these exploration things. You pull out your weapon and approach them quietly. This reminds me so much of Diablo 2. Eliminate the bandits and take the loot. 
or yourself. Okay. Suddenly you hear someone calling you. The wariness in the person's voice sounds familiar. You don't remember me? My savior. It's me, Malak. The Malak you saved from the Ifrit. You haven't forgotten this troubled scholar. He puts away his old tomes and turns to take your hand. My savior, I finally found you. Need something? I'm in desperate need of your help. You must know how powerful the Ifrit are. They have recently begun to attack humans in groups. If rumors are true, the most powerful Ifrit are nearly indistinguishable from humans, except for some superficial differences. They have their own language, intelligence, and powerful magic. They evolve and adapt quickly, too. If this continues, humans will be unable to defeat them. What do you need me to do? I found a secret base for the Ifrit. They seem to be planning some shameful conspiracy. The Pahoehoe Lava Void, to the south of Redstone Keep, is where I shall wait for you. Only you can prevent disaster, hero. Malak seems so earnest, there is no use refusing. He staggers awkwardly forward, his belongings slapping against his body with every step. He looks back at you one more time, his eyes heavy with fatigue and sadness. The Afrit base spoken of by Malak rests within the Pahoehoe Lava Void. When you are ready, seek Malak there. Can I do this again? I have to do 14 days before I can do it again. Okay. Find Malak near the Bahoehoe Lava Void. Seems like a long way away. Hello. Encounters details. Easy. Should probably level up my thing. Oh, I'm so strong now. Summons are always so strong at the beginnings of these sorts of games. Brotherhood Ringleader. Ha! Huh, where did this bum come from, Scram? What do you want to do? Make trouble. Blah! Have you been sipping a crazy chat? You. Solo challenging. Me. I have made a terrible mistake. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> I was not close to not being dead in that fight. Check my inventory. Do I have my best weapons equipped? I figured I wanted the wand, yeah, and I haven't found thing that isn't a wand yet. Although I could give you a spear. I guess that's better. This nope. Can't equip. Ooh. That could make me tanky. But it's like hmm. your requirement, not that. Okay. We can't wear any of the stuff we found, apparently. This was level five. I want to do that. You solo challenging me? You would never solo challenge me. Unless... Wait, those ones have like shields or something? Seems unfair. I think Xanop's dead again. Alright, level four. We got some stuff. I gotta work out where I'm going. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my- oh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright.
Good grief. There's a red dot here. I can't find it. Oh, you come across some wounded men in the rain. From talking to one, you learn that their caravan was raided and cleaned up by bandits. And we'll get your stuff back. Ah, I do have mana. I just can't cast enough abilities for it to be relevant yet. There are a lot of enemies in these fights, aren't there? I think there's a setting actually for the maximum enemies that you can have in a fight, and it's currently set at 200. So, so that's a big number. You successfully chase off the bandits. Fortunately, the victims' conditions have not deteriorated. You return the stolen loot to the wounded party, and they reward you handsomely. Money. Ooh, a bahar. Or Ken Bahar, I guess. Oh, this is the fight that Zainab died in the first time. We're stronger now, though. Alright, we're like farming these fights pretty simply. Where do I need to go? I need to go to the Pahoehoe Lava Void. Any ideas of how I do that? I have more. Let's go to the big ones. Marauder is a big one. So I can press space to go faster? Nope, doesn't work. Oh! Well, that just speeds the game up. That isn't actually going faster. Exclamation mark, SOS. Is the command you're looking for? What is this, six days? Is that how much time has passed? West Crag Outpost is a small scale territory ruled by the Dakima. The markets are bustling with business. Locals can be seen wearing lavish clothing. The entire city is locked down. Even a centicubit long mouse would have difficulty finding its way in. You what? You what? Is this guarantee payment permanent? Interesting. Can you go any cheaper? Oh, if they like me more, it gets cheaper. I see. Forget it. Is anyone here willing to follow Jorbsimus? I have recruited a Dakin Lancer. Cool. Shall I try doing the fight again? Let's try doing the fight again. You really think of buying this game? How is it so far? I'm still exploring the very beginnings of it. But it has been pretty cool so far. But I've played it for like 30 minutes, so it's not like I really know all about it. I go this way. No. Hello, I would like a horsey. Is there a way to get on my mount? See one. What is this? I have a level up. I 
It is an inventory item. Horsey? Wait, where'd it go? Did I not buy it? Oh no, my horsey. Maybe I didn't actually buy it. Yeah, I still have all of my money. Guess I didn't. The skill after the March Spear I chose is an active ability. What happens if I talk to the Alzba chief? Hello. Hey there, you don't look too well. I'm about to be sent off to death in battle. Yep. Oh, we're fighting again. I missed. I just missed that attack. Woo! That was a dodge. Oh, that was not a dodge. <laughs> you get stunned, like, for a long time in this game. Alright. This fight's a little bit tricky. So, understanding the enemy aggro patterns is sort of a big thing. I'm gonna try it one more time. Sprint is space, supposedly, which I was trying to press, but I didn't actually buy the horse, so that's probably my issue. Oh, why don't you care about my summon? Wait, you heal when you hit me with that? That seems sort of strong. I missed. I have good news. In only 15 or so seconds, I can summon again. Oh my god. That has such long range. I need a sword. It's very unclear how I'm going to, like... The skill is cooling down. Please get stuck on this. Thank you. No. Oh my god! <laughs> Pretty damn good for the silent time. Thank you. We're on the same team. Nice. <laughs> that all? Did we do it? That's the story of how I met my bro. The story has just begun. Would you like to continue listening, Traveler? Would you like? Oh, it keeps going. Little Wolfie, thanks for the six months. You report back to the chief. You guys, remember, this is about your first battle. Show me how to use that weapon. Nervous? A little. You have to be brave for your sister and your grandpa. Thank you. Oh, Zainab's here this time. All right, I think we're fine then. Wait, where did all of my stuff go? I just got shracked! Oh my god, there's hundreds of them! They have ranged attacks? Okay. Never mind. Uh, maybe next time, yeah, maybe next time.
Hello, we're recruiting volunteers. Recently, a group of desert hippies came by blapping about being followers of the fire god. They're converting people all over the place so they can perform a summering ritual for their fire god. It's tricky. There happens to be a mountainous region in the south, and some claim to see molten lava beginnings down there. The low consultant is men garrison there to defend the town entrance. Our men can't get any closer to find out exactly what the folks are up to. If you could take three squads over, I couldn't trust you with this quest. What say you? Three squads. I must have three squads. I have something I have to do. Interesting. Haberdasher. If you're not happy with your looks, come and find me in the Redstone Valley. Hey, traveler, do you require the services of someone to make you look fabulous? <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank you for the offer, though. What's in the tavern? All right, so in talents here, this press space while mounted. I have to be mounted. Well, that would be the problem. What happens at the training arena? Oh, this is like the place where you leave your Pokemon. The building provides the following effects. Garrison troops automatically gain 30 experience per day. What's up, tribesmen? Malort! Where are you going? To the Ember Camp. More. Any recent rumors? Band of Ifrit in the southeast. Go on your way then. And I will go with you to the southeast to find the Ifrit. Is there like a map? Yes. Oh. 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 Where am I going? The Pahoe uh, Hoi Lava Void. Is that here somewhere? How do I, how do I find where I need to go? Does anybody know? <laughs> I mean, I can just explore and I'm sort of down for that. I have a lot of respect for games that have you do that, honestly. Quests, then the location button. So I can go to Crying Rock. And I'm currently here. So if I go up there. Okay, cool. A former alchemy workshop now long abandoned. There are two floors. I have awakened the workshop's guardian and puppets. Can you zoom out in this interface? Wait, my auto attacks are ranged? Did it take me to find that out? B -b -b boomer Okay, let's not talk about it. Play, pray here to gain troop experience and special gear. No heroic soul emerges. Hello, scavenger. 
A bearded man with large satchel and a shiny bald head addresses you. Did you come here to explore? I must warn you as your elder that there is a large volcano nearby where strange things are happening. Redstone Keep has sent guards to block the road. Your curiosity could kill you. Go wherever you like, but try not to die. Is there anything scary there? Uh, yes. Wait, I'm busy right now. An abandoned sawmill. You may be able to find wood here. I'm ambushed by another party. And they have the shield things. Seems sort of unfair. Definitely missed. There you go, Zainab. I defeat the attackers and take their wood. Not played. What does a rally point do? I haven't worked that out yet. Ooh, bandits. Attack the camp. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Can I click on the stuff though? No, I can't get in. <laughs> Those are the big numbers. Seems as though something important is happening here. Danger level 17. <laughs> Rally point equals spawn. But when I die, I just respawn right where I was. That's the thing that I don't understand. Are we more dangerous than level 17? No, I don't think so. Prep time is six hours. It will cost 50 Utah as well. All right, here we go. You encounter bandits. Oh, I bet the damage we take sticks to us in this fight. Oops, wrong button. Zainab is pretty OP. A white rose potion. Increases your entire party's defense by 10. Activating the magic stone triggers poison gas, causing your... No. No. There's a chest here. I open it. And... <gasps> Eventually this is a town management game? Yeah, I've seen parts of that. But I'm definitely not there yet. Fire lights up in the darkness! And you see the savage face of a wizard among the flickering flame. Easy. Oh! There's a fire elemental attacking me. You defeat Chakra Majahim, the wizard, and find some loot. Basic forge tools. Right. Well done, me. I must go crying rock. I like the vibe of this game a lot, and it feels pleasant to play. Like, the game is generally responsive, and the load times are very fast, and I don't know, it's just a nice game. Wasn't there a place back in the last area I was in where I had to kill some guards to get a party member? I feel like there was. I haven't worked out what food does yet. Presumably I'm running out of it. I 
I absolutely just shot a wall? That's fine, that's just what I do. Combat looks sort of Hades-esque. Uh, it's not quite as crisp as in Hades, but Hades is like the best game ever made for, for Hades-type combat. I'm not sure that the combat is actually really meant to be the focal point of this game. Like, you have the option to auto-resolve fights, for example. Which I should maybe be doing. They should maybe not have attacked me, huh? It was like a bad choice. Can I control the other people in my party? Rumors say... The hero heroic soul of Redstone Valley has appeared. Go to the heroic statue of Vich... Back! Wait, a caravan. Hello? Goodbye. I like the world, too. Like, stuff just happens. It's sort of cool. Can't actually move anyone other than your main character. Fair enough. Where was that statue thing? Ooh, here's a holding cell. I am getting quite acquainted with this map, that's for sure. Is it up dead already? Say no. Oh, no. Wait, no, that's one of my summons. Say no appears to already be dead. That's okay, that'll happen. She seems to come back again. <laughs> so, the game began by explaining to me that I had returned from death. And I don't think I've had any, like, in universe explanation for, like, like, isn't that a weird thing to do? <laughs> you know? Doesn't that sort of seem like something that would be worth commenting on? Probably just happy I'm back. Maybe. Nassar Militia has joined my party. There it is, the heroic statue. You pray the statue with all your heart. Soon a heroic soul emerges to you. Oh god! I didn't realize I had to kill it. I am not going to defeat that. That that is not this is not close. I just crit it for about 5% of its health. All right. Well, hmm. Fair enough. Where was Zainab? Ooh. What? I didn't even realize I was clicking on something. Something about the Afrit. We have learned something about the uh, Afrit. Okay. I'm gonna go buy a horse. And then I'm going to go back to that story quest. But I really want a horse. Is that the guard? Is that the one with the quest? Probably. Looks like it, right? I can press control to speed up the game. Oh, that's nice. That's just a nice feature to have.
So I have to click and drag. Uh... All right, now we're talking. You played 30 hours of this game the last three days. That's pretty rad. You've been enjoying it? The enemies just pop off after they win. That Sultan fellow has a much larger party than I. My party members could always sprint as fast as a horse. I was just holding them back. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> You know. Wait, how do I have three squads? Like three different squads? What does that even mean? Quests. This one. Location. Have to go way up there. Level ups. Oh, these are level one now. What happens if I promote them? <gasps> what is this? How do I do that? Manage. There is so much depth in this game in ways that I was just not even slightly expecting. Like, this game is sort of nothing like anything I've ever played. Very cool. Your upgrades are expensive early on. I'm hungry. I'm out of food. Uh-oh. Maybe this is how I will lose the game. Well, let's see if we can find... Markets will open soon. Let's see if we can find a shop, maybe? Hello? Trade items? I will buy the one-off thing. That's how they get you, you know? Is this what I need? Ooh, roast naan. Do I have food now? Did I do it? Looks like it. Recommended level 12. What do you think I get to this place? Also, I've noticed that like the stuff that's happening in this area is higher level than the stuff that was happening in other areas. This is interesting. What is this? Help the merchant. Oh, it's a different map. We're not getting on very well with the Dark Brotherhood. Something that I've noticed. Are they going to give me a reward? No? No reward? Rude. This is like a highway. Look at all these people. Look at them all. Do they get stronger as days pass? Is that like the point? I'm going to Amaranth Town.
Let's treat unit scale with your level. Ah. Uh, If you're interested in this game, you can use exclamation mark SOS in the chat. Exclamation mark SOS. That's my referral link for it. It is out on Steam. I received a dry meat. Prism Rock Village. Almost there. Alright, it's Amaranth Town. There is a quest here of some sort. You arrive at Amaranth Town. Most of the townspeople wearing hoods, the mark of wizards. You're at a loss as to where to start, however. You need to do something to impress the wizards of the town. You see your chance in a commotion just ahead. You see a wizard tied to a rack. I recognize your cleverness in using black magic to heal injuries, holding a piece of parchment in one hand and pointing at the wizard with the other. However, you have committed two crimes. One, if you truly wanted to become a healer, you should have joined the White Rose Society and accepted their guidance. Two, you acted in blatant disregard of the harm that black magic would bring to you and your patient. A chief, he saved my life. An old man's voice breaks the silence. There are a few voices in agreement. The chief, he's going too far. He saved a life, no matter how he did it. Silence, these are the laws of the land, and he must be punished. Dinap looks like she is ready to charge into the fray. <laughs> Charon Square. Maybe. Perhaps. Let Zainab do what she wants. Everyone knows what healing magic and black magic represent. Clearly, Zainab does not care for the rules of wizards. Who decides that black magic can't be used to heal people? What do you think you know? Black magic is an evil dark power. Well, look at you, you law-abiding lapdogs. This much went away and glances at Zainab. I am not going to bother myself with some foolish girl. You know what the root of your problem is? Your precious white rose healers and the ridiculous prices that they charge. It's those white-robed frauds that you should be tying up, not the true healer gear. You see a few hooded figures in the crowd. Colored light begins to coalesce in their palms. Stay back, Zainab. <gasps> It's battle time. Do you think we win this one? I don't know. Definite maybe. Looks like we won. The closest fight that I've had so far, I think. There's a kill feed at the bottom left. Oh, my people are injured though. Dismiss with words and knock out the guards. Someone in the crowd look at you in fear. A few rush forward to untie the wizard. Thank you, my friend. I am Nassant, a healer of sorts. My name is Jorbs Amiss. Thank you for your help, Jorbs Amiss. My name is Zainab. I suggest you flee now unless you want to rot in a white rose dungeon or get cut open on a dissection table. Uh, what? Don't scare him like this. We can take bets on how long you'll survive if you don't want to listen to my advice. I understand. Thank you. Nissan quickly puts on his hood, thanks you again, and leaves. Use spirit magic to wipe the onlookers of their memory of Nissan's flight, an exhausting task. Looks like the chief is not going to be exactly forthcoming with the whereabouts of the wizard whom you are looking for. Oh! Whoops. You must seek out your old friend who lives in the southeast corner of Amaranth Town. It has been a long time, and you barely remember the way. To the southeast corner of Amaranth Town? I mean, it doesn't seem that hard to work it out. Imagine it's to the southeast. Um, <clears throat> anyway. You can just do that? Yeah, apparently, Cryon. I don't know. That's normal, right? What about the 11 HP fight? I forgot about that in fairness. You take Zane up to an out-of-the-way trail, a winding dirt path filled with weeds and rocks. For a long time, the hills did not look the way 
For a long time, the hills did not look like they would get any closer, but eventually you go around a few abandoned houses and find the hut that you were looking for hidden in the hillside. You knock on the door. Santa hides behind your back timidly. Aww. <laughs> She's like a cat or a toddler. A few crows cawing on a nearby tree as the place is gloom. The moldy ore creaks open slowly. A short man with a prominent hooked nose pokes his face out of the crack. Oh, by the sun, this must be a dream. You're a terrible actor. I have to admit, I'm not all that concerned about whether you're alive or not. I'm just surprised that my sources appear to be in error. I thought you had long since ended up in the bellies of some vultures. I won't rot before your big nose and your decrepit little hut, I promise. Who's this cute little girl with you? Okay, let's talk maybe about appropriate things to say to strangers. Zainab hides behind your back timidly. <laughs> what is what is the anime term for Zainab's character? My wife's younger sister. Ah, interesting. I suggest that you mind yourself, if you still like your nose that way it is. Not that it couldn't use a makeover. The two things I hate the most, dog crap by the roadside and a spirit mancer at the door. Fine, I know what you can do. You don't have to prove it to me. Come in, want tea? Brown. Fine, serious matter, yada yada yada. What do you want to know? Deep breath. Zarathustra the Dominator, the greatest spirit mancer to have ever lived. Hook knows and narrows his eyes and empties his cup in one gulp. The mundane stuff I can tell you for free, but news about the Dominator? Forget news, even the wisp of a rumor would cost a fortune. I know your rules. Two ways we can do this. You can buy what I know for 1,000 yutar, or you can go to Triptych Rock and find a man by the name of Batu. Look for the most punchable face in town. Okay. I have to go where, sorry? I have more talents. Wait, I have five, ooh, five talent points already. Look at me. These are injured. What does that mean? Also, they are gaining experience. Oh, it means that they have no health, I guess. Attack, defend, follow. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's cool. Wait, hold on. This has something that I can do with it. What is it that I can do with it? Also, I can put this in a different squad. They can be promoted. I had the promotion screen open earlier. I just don't remember where it was. <laughs> Wait, they have been promoted. They're level 4. They used to be level 1. <laughs> oh, <look at. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thus Spake Zarathustra is the name of the very famous piece of classical music that is used in Planet of the Apes? 2001 Space Odyssey? I don't remember which one. Sorry, I meant to go to Skipper in Triptych Rock. Two thousand and one is Space Odyssey. How weird is it that films which were set in the future now take place in the past? Pretty weird, yeah. Although it wasn't set in two thousand one, right? Because they got that like very wrong. <laughs> Hmm. 
Um, can I fight this? There aren't that many bandits here. I might be able to fight this. Wait, where are my units? Siege base, defensive. There is like some stuff going on here, and I don't quite understand what it is. We're capturing flags, I think. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, they have production? This is like an RTS! What are we producing? There's some stuff going on in this game, yeah? Definitely some stuff going on. Did they produce units for me? Also, it doesn't feel like I can dash anymore, or march, or whatever. It stopped working. Hello! I would like to collect my debt. Ah, uh, you only have 500 Utar. You said there would be interest. Looks like you're not getting what I said. I only have 500. You nosy weirdo. Are we fighting now? Have we six? All right. Am I the baddies? Hello? The game has successfully made me a debt collector who kills people. <laughs> we're, we're definitely in a morally gray zone here. Stop! Don't hurt me! I'll pay. It's supposed to be a thousand. Use this Utar to buy your tombs. You did have a thousand the entire time. So who's the real bad person? If you have your squads in situations, there is a squad tactic selection menu in the fight. Wait, what is this? Where did my talent points go? They're all gone. Did I reset them somehow? I guess I reset them somehow. Oh, maybe I clicked on the reset button. That would sort of make sense. <laughs> uh... Suddenly a hurried th man thunders past you. He elbows you as he passes, but he doesn't even notice you. Instead, he continues to rush toward crying rock. After a time, another young man walks in the same direction. He stops when he meets your gaze. Sorry, that's my older brother. We're going to join the Dakin's Great Conclave. We don't have a lot of time, sorry. What's a Great Conclave? The Great Conclave is held near the settlement east of Triptish Rock. Dakin leader, the beautiful Rabia, organizes it. The winner gets a treasure from the days of old Jamal City. Sounds priceless. There's a start. It starts in one day and lasts for 30 days. Time is running out, so you better hurry if you want to join. I heard the Great Rabia values intelligence as much as strength. Before the fighting starts, you will test your intelligence. Stupid contestants may be disqualified, whereas intelligent candidates may receive aid from a beer. Okay, I can't say too much, I must go. This game is so cool. It also reminds me of Morrowind. Like... This game reminds me of so many cool things. Alright, Shrim, thanks for 26 months. The ch in triptych is a K sound. Triptych? Never heard of that one. 
Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong then. Guess it's my turn to deliver. About uh, half a year ago, not a hundred years, half a year, the Corsac Guild at Dune Storm learned of the whereabouts of the former high priest of the Nasser clan, the Dominator, the man you were looking for. But I don't know what the Corsac Guild did with the lead. The Corsac Guild is away from their headquarters at the moment. I'll send news your way if I hear that they are back in Dune Storm. All that coin for this? Please keep my survival a secret. Sure, sure, whatever. Now get out. I could smell the rot of spirit magic spreading through the house. I take Xanop and prepare to leave. You were living in a pretty remote place, Jorbsimus. It was not easy to get news from there. I learned of your whereabouts at the same time that I heard about your death. I'm not trying to explain anything. I wasn't about to hold a funeral for you. It's just that, well, I'm glad to see you alive. And you should have given me a discount. Nose slams the door in your face. You can hear him cursing through the door, mostly involving unflattering descriptions of your mother. That's mean. Regardless, you finally have a lead. Dunestorm and the Corsac Guild. That is your next destination. There's a chance enemies will drop their gear once defeated. Pay extra attention to anyone with shiny gear. In a way you don't really see in big polished western releases or even most indie strategy games which are built around doing really specific game through really well is just this huge cavalcade of systems crashing into each other. Yes. Absolutely. There's a lot of stuff going on. Rabia! Why didn't they just tell me to go to Paparuduo Village instead of telling me to go to the place east of the other place? Wouldn't that have been easier? Back in tournament. How do I speak with Rabia? Are you here? Ah. Vexor, thanks for the six months. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. You like me, I go. You arrive at Triptych Rock, where you encounter many capable and strange warriors. Many have confident smiles as if they hold the secret to victory. If you're enjoying this game, by the way, there is my link for it on steam hmm there's not much to say let's get started you know the rules first the test then the fighting no way paper is scarce in the desert i don't know how to write what you expect us to do this warrior isn't wrong <laughs> rabia puts on a breathtaking smile heads turn intoxicated by her radiance suddenly the warrior who spoke falls to the ground foaming at the mouth a small purple scorpion slowly crawls up his neck what a shame he must have been sick Within Dakin lands, my lands, I am the law. Passing traveler shakes. I didn't mean to scare anyone. When you are ready, go to my subordinates to begin the challenge. Mm, is that you? Answer the questions. I am ready. First question. There are chickens and rabbits together. In total, there are 16 animals with 44 legs. How many chickens are there? And how many rabbits are there? What is this? Oh my. Well, it depends. Do they have all of their legs? If there are 44 legs total, that means that there are... It would be 32 if everything had two, so there are 12 rabbits. 12 rabbits and 4 chickens. Nope! That's wrong. How did I get that so wrong? Six. Six rabbits and eight chickens. Six rabbits and ten chickens. I worked that out eventually. Six rabbits and ten chickens. Second question. There's four colors of silk in a box. Everyone can take one or two. If you take two, then must be different colors. What's the lowest number of people who must take to ensure that three people have the same number? And in the same color. Oh my god, I don't understand what this question even asked me. There are four colors of silk in a box. Everyone can take one or two. If you take two, they must be different colors. What is the lowest number of people who must take to ensure that three people have the same number and in the same colors? So it's asking me how many combinations there are, basically. There are four when taking one, 
and six when taking two, so the answer is 11 people, I believe. Third question. A statue was planned to be built by 40 people and completed in 15 days. If it were to be completed three days earlier, how many more people would you need? I mean, that makes a lot of assumptions about the workflow of these human beings, stack and guard. That, that isn't just how humans work. <laughs> um, okay, so this is n divided by 40 equals 15. And we need to know n divided by what equals 3. Right? Alternately, I could just increase the number by 25% and get 50. I'm pretty sure. And that's just the answer. We need to speed it up 25%. I mean, the question doesn't entirely make sense. I need 20% more? Wait, really? Hold up. I need 25% more? I need to increase the speed. Oh, you're right. You're right, right? 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 You're right? I think you're right. Oh, I could write it down. <laughs> Why did I think it was 25%? Because I was reducing them. But I'm only reducing the number by 20%. Right. I'm only reducing the number by 20%. Yay! Yay! Wait a moment. Opponents will be assigned based on your results. Hmm. It seems you only need to defeat three opponents to move on to the top for now. Why for now? The conclave, uh, the conclave lasts 30 days. If someone defeats you, then that part of the Jamal City treasure belongs to them. In other words, as long as you defeat these three people, you are number one for now. If you lose, you have no chance to win the treasure. When you're ready, come find me. I'm ready. Can we stop, like, hiding from each other and just fight? Just, like, shoot the things? Please? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Please no more hiding from each other? <laughs> oh my god, I have somewhere to be tomorrow? That's not true, I have not left my house for two years. Uh, anyway. This fight seems easy enough. It's also not true that I have not left my house for two years. That was also not true. We have a horse in the overworld, but not in the fights. Not so far. You actually won! Go to the treasure messenger over there. You're the winner for now. We'll see if anyone defeats you. Oh, it's you. I wouldn't have guessed you were so skilled. What's your name? Jorbs. That name suits you. I know. Well, if no one challenges you, the treasure is yours. The calm is broken by a cloud of yellow sand kicked up in the far away. A black shadow is visible through the yellow haze. The sound of horf hoof beats on sand is like muffled thunder that becomes more clear as the face of the shadow is revealed. An army headed by a strong man in heavy armor riding an extraordinary horse. The horse's eyes are marked by a unique ferocity. Only one could tame a horse like this. Bahat, the Akhal Sultan. Oh, the Sultan of the Alcal wants to join my conclave. This is a relic of Jamal City, a treasure of the Old Empire. The Old Empire is gone. My brother and the Nasir overthrew the Old Empire, don't you remember? Shut up! The Old King vanished, and Oblivion is the only fate left to Jamal City. And my only regret is that my brother failed to sit on the throne of Jamal City. Damn that old eagle. I don't want to talk to you about this. Hand over the treasure of Jamal City. You know what the treasure is, don't you? You pathetic worm. It's a relic of Princess Elaid and the Old King. I bring so many to meet me. If you really like it, your girl could give it to you. Elida is still alive! Ha! Alive? The princess of Jamal City died long ago. If she were alive, my brother's illness could be cured. The only reason my brother agreed to the alliance in the first place was- This is way too complicated. 
we are into like serious geopolitics and family lines and illness and i don't know if the people are dead or not and maybe they were dead and then they came back to life because that's the thing that happens i and we just do the fighting part again <laughs> can you ask me algebra questions <laughs> Then we fight. I will aid the Dakin because I have decided that I'm friends with the people I met first. Also, I do not feel like my force is particularly relevant in this combat. Also, I am glad that I aided the Dakin. Holy shit, you did not bring enough people to fight them, friend. You did not. <laughs> okay, anyway. I won't sacrifice my subordinates in vain. Go back to the desert. Be well, great Bahat. Oh, hello, brave adventurer. The Dakin, thank you for your help. The treasure is yours. Yay! Ooh, I got combat stuff. Hold on. Inventory. I got a light prismatic robe. I'm so strong. I got combat spear. Cannot be used in actual combat. <laughs> what? What is the use of this thing then? <laughs> it is for training. There is training in this game too, so. I'm meant to travel to Dune Storm. How do I get more squads? Hold up. If I click on this, and then I go squad two out of eight. Oh, promote! It's the promote button. so much wood. I swear this button wasn't here before. <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't feel like I'm wrong. A training robe. Not to be worn on trains. <laughs> Let's go to one of the big things again. Not entirely sure what that means, but let's go that way. What else is there? Oh, but I can't afford to level those. View messages. There are no messages. View this thing. Very good. This is meant to be a rogue light. Does it reset or just keep progressing? You've been watching for an hour and you're so confused. We are leveling up. It's sort of like a huge open world that we are gathering power inside. I think we can handle a level seven dungeon. Oh, well, apparently we can. There is no heroic soul in crying rock. I want to go check out the thingamajigs now, the original quest I was meant to do. I think I have learned how to make lots of squads, but I'm not quite sure. It's like Mountain Blade meets Diablo. I never played Mountain Blade. I bought it on sale once, and then, you know, you know what happens when you buy a game on sale. <laughs> I could click the auto battle, but I like um, watching the like units shoot each other. So unlucky. Odd trader. Hello. 
Yeah, let's see what a rare treasure I am. Stay for a moment, adventurer. You look amazing, but there are plenty of amazing people and even more amazing monsters in this realm. Don't go. Long story short, I have a crystal here that has the power to dispel any worldly curse. I expect you have been to many mystical places in your travels. Surely you've come across a cursed creature or two. I'm in urgent need of funds, but I understand if you're unwilling to purchase such an expensive treasure. What do you think about this? Pay me 500 utar. Take the crystal to the Umbra Cliffs and seek out a dryad within a forest mirage. If you place this crystal close enough to her, her curse will be lifted. And her human form will be restored. I don't have any money. I'm sorry. What a great idea, though. But I don't have any money. You think I can do this yet? Oh, I already tried and failed. Okay. So that's like a like super boss fight or something. Can I tell if these are ready from the map, maybe, somehow, or something like that? Don't know. Can't get more people to join me? I am absolutely certain that I can. But how? Stop! A group of soldiers calls out to you from behind a simple barricade. Strange happenings have occurred here. None may enter by order of Lord Husnu. Entering will be difficult. Hang on. Okay. So what am I meant to do? Have three squads to get enough recognition. I thought that somewhere in here, there was something that changed, yes, yeah, squad number two, squad number three. Is that three squads? Why isn't that three squads? Why isn't that three squads? I have successfully run into a wall. The likelihood of troop strength increases if your troops are hungry. Well, Zainab is squad one, so it seemed like that would be three, but I guess I'm wrong. Wandering Painter. Traveler, are you confused about the nature of the world? I have painted some interesting tales. If you want to hear a story, why don't you look at my paintings? Oui. I'll tell you the tale of the three dynasties. A long, long time ago, there was a distant land abundant with natural beauty. We will call this place the Land of Strife. Why would you call it that? Because it was a place of constant fighting. Our desire for competition swells. Which brings us to the first dynasty, the Goddess Dynasty. The arrival of this dynasty meant an end to the chaos of the previous ages. The Goddess Dynasty ended the struggle between the people of fire and the people of water when the powerful fire peoples were driven from the land of strife. Oh, I forgot to mention, the peoples of fire and water were the original natives of this land of strife. Since fire and water are incompatible, fighting between the two was inevitable. The Goddess Dynasty was led by the people of water. Uh, actually, all three dynasties were water dynasties. The Goddess Dynasty believed in divine power. Those among the water people who did not have divine power were slowly disenfranchised. Using a thing called iron power, those bereft of divine power rose up against the ones who had held them down. What is iron power? It's not important. It's a power anyone can have. Iron power gave birth to the second dynasty. The Iron Dynasty. This is a very beautiful painting, isn't it? Finally, I will tell you of the Third Dynasty, but before that, let me touch on the fall of the Iron Dynasty. The Iron Dynasty focused on development of iron power to the exclusion of everything else. Power? Yes. Around this time, those with divine power and brute power banded together to topple the Iron Dynasty. The Third Dynasty was called the Passion Dynasty because of the high passions of those with brute power and those with divine power, which often conflicted with one another. Well, that's a story, okay? I will continue this story when the fourth dynasty is established. These paintings were made by my little daughter, isn't that nice? You feel like you have benefited from listening to this tale. Jarb's and Mrs. Experience increased. Yay. Abandoned Redstone Mine. The north there is a mine, you will see it at the end of the canyon. After Black Sun, miners often saw ghostly fire down there. Miners frequently got injured or went missing, and it was eventually abandoned. Go see for yourself, if you think you can survive. Okay, but that's... Oh, that's what... Wait, 20 ironstone every week? Is that mine? No. There seems to be a battle happening. Help the Nasir's Husnu. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> we 
everyone. Hey. <laughs> Well done, everybody. Well done. When you come to me seeking to learn a fire sorcery, yes, you'll need to demonstrate your worth before I teach fire sorcery. Visit the Pahoe Hoi Lava Void at Redstone Valley and defeat the Ifrit there, then come find me. Oh, so we have to do this thing again. Alright, so I need one more party member still. How should I get one more party member? Was there another guard place somewhere? I just need a bit of money, right? And then I can hire people from somewhere. Oh, is this, does this work? I think I may have removed my other units from this squad. Perhaps that was a poor choice. He's screaming, Steve. It's okay, we kite. We're basically invincible against these enemies. Jorp the Mislaid, Nasir, Long Spearman. Defeat the guards and save the prisoners. We got Nasir at Militia. So now this can be, hold up, this can be squad one, and this can be squad two, and this can be squad three. And we have three squads, which means, if, oh, I walked into a rock again. This is the problem I'm having with speeding up the game. <laughs> You've got your men together, then take out that scimitar and show me what you're made of. These disciples of the fire god camp out to the west of Crying Rock, the north of Redstone Keep. Hurry over and find out what on earth they're up to you. To the west of Crying Rock to the north of Redstone Keep. I have to go all the way over there. Also, this is the abandoned Redstone Mine. I can probably actually do that. I thought it was a different thing. Actually, I thought I already did do this. I can absolutely do that. You can both make both and see the same type of units and combine them into a four unit squad. Oh. Gotcha. Increases your intent. Nope. Open chest. It's a trap. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> I have found ten woods. And I found the wizard. Yeah, I did do this already. And now I'm doing it again. Hmm. Space time portal. Mana upgrade. I definitely don't need more mana than I have. I am clicking on completely random buttons for Zainab. That's all good. Continue your journey. There's a limping monster ahead! It wears a ragged clothing in one of the desert. You are puzzled, but before you can consider further, the monster disappears into the dark cave. It seems to harbor no ill no intent. Okay. Interesting. Fire lights up the darkness! And you see the savage face of a wizard among the flickering flames. Why is... Why is a wizard... Just, like, by default, an enemy here? Seems mean. I got beans! Nice. Got him.
Alright, so I completed that quest. I have received another combat outfit. I am meant to go to somewhere. Attack the Afrit followers camp. Location. There. Boom. This is not the Afrit followers camp. Yeah, it looks like I have to go back to turn in the completed quest, but I believe I'm going back that way soon anyway. So I'll do it when I do it, I suppose. Oh, Zainab is dead. I'm almost dead. This one's attack for a lot of damage. So they can like dash at me. Got it though. Can we look at the loot dropped from the dungeon? I suppose. I have an equestrian broadsword. Well, who can equip it? Strength up to 12. Regenerative spike armor. Strength up to 15. Wait, why can't you equip this? You have enough strength. Seems sweet. Is this it? Is this the Afrit? Who the blazes is this? You're not a devotee to the fire god. Be gone. This should be the camp which that redstone keep guard mentioned. Would you like to mount an attack? What do you do? Attack! An assault from redstone keep. This is impossible. Protect my lord. Protect our lord. Alright, here we go. We're doing the... Um... I don't know what we're doing. Zainab is running into a corner. Oh, this is actually a path. What's going on here? I don't know. Uh, okay. Going better now. There must be something I meant to capture, yeah? Like this flag or something? Nope. Oh, yes. And we did capture a thing earlier. Okay, Zainab did know what was going on. I don't know what this production of 10 or 15 per minute actually means. Is it in here? Nope. Current battlefield resources. Retreat. Oh. Hello. I see. You think it only respawns their units, but my units do not get anything from holding them? Maybe. Darn it, I don't think that's all we have. Bastard of Redstone Keep, we'll find another way to resurrect our Lord of Fire. Who on earth are you talking about? Is this fire god you mentioned none other than the Afrit? We'll surely know about it when the day comes. Alright, I did that too. Imagine just having control speed up the game process so that people can speed through things. Oh, it's raining. That's such a nice quality of life thing to do. I always like games which are clearly made by people who have like put a lot of work into having the game be fun to play. Like this is clearly a game which the people who worked on like a lot and put a lot of love into. I like games like that because they always have cute little things that you wish every game had, like pressing control speeds up the game process. What are you saying? The guard seems so frightened that he almost falls down. He straightens his helmet and clears his throat. 
Ahem, you have completed this quest in an excellent fashion. Follow me and you shall be rewarded by my commander. You follow the guard into Redstone Keep and meet the captain of the guard. He orders his men to leave so that only the two of you are in the room. A subordinate tells me that the monster was limping. If you can defeat it, you will be rewarded generously and you'll be paid extra for your silence. The captain explains that the monster is probably what remains of Jarish, a miner who was lost 15 years ago. 15 years ago, the miners uncovered a monster's lair. The miners who discovered it were able to run away. Jarish, who had a bad leg, was not so... Okay. Everyone wants to know what happened to Jerish. The guard captain folds his hands behind his back silently. He grimly tells his subordinates to take you away. The men respond without violence. You must... You make the truth known to the people. Jerish's family thanks you. You tell them to put aside any thoughts of revenge. They say they, they understand it was the monster who killed Jerish, not his fellows. You leave satisfied. Jerish's family gives you a gift. You express their heartfelt gratitude. I ain't killing Jerish. Jerish was just, like, doing his job. I'm no monster. Well, at times I'm a monster, maybe. Kukulan, thanks very much for the 10 months. Hey, Barnabas. You actually managed to fight off those followers of the Efreet. That's amazing. You should go and find the Conciliere. He'll reward you. He's carrying out inspections at the Ember Mines in the northeast of Redstone Keep. Oh, I have... These Ember Mines seem to be, like, a thing. That we go to a lot. These ones? No. Different ones? Are there non abandoned ones? Also, I have more talents. I was building toward militia. Although I do not know what it does. But now I have it. Whatever it is. Okay. Um. Oh, somebody said that I could combine these? Can I make these infantry and then combine them or something? How do I combine them? How do I do that? Manage? They are well trained. These have poison weapon. What are these? Ooh, these are Dakins, but they're going in the other tree. You saw it under manage. Combine! Combine. Did that give them more experience or make it so there was more of them? Not sure if that actually did the thing that I wanted to do. Also, where is this... This one? Location. Ah. What? During the rainstorm, you encounter a group of raggedy beggars coming your way. My lord, please help us. A pack of robbers are stalking us in the rain. Your companions point out that something seems fishy and it's just as likely that they're themselves bandits masquerading as beggars. I will protect them. They are grateful. They eventually hit the road. They must have been ripped off somehow by the beggars. Do I still have the same amount of money as before? I don't have very much money. Shouldn't I have more money? Haven't I been like winning fights and stuff? Maybe I haven't been winning fights. Two two level six and two two level four become four four level five. Uh, Jumping happened. Hey, step no further. The mine is dangerous to your health. It's that flame disciple from before. These followers must have blown up the mines themselves in some kind of misguided revenge. The concierge. The sun. <sighs> There are too many syllables in that word. <laughs> I haven't seen my lord. My lord. Unless he's trapped inside. Stop! Don't go down there! It could collapse in at any time! And yet. Ooh. Oh, I have a horsey! You think you can hear cries for help coming from ahead? Help me! Oh, 
Interesting that you had no option to manual this fight. Or auto this fight. How on earth can there be so many of these damned flame disciples here? Is the guy who attacked our camp? It is the guy who attacked your camp. You are correct. Zainab is so strong. Oh my god, Zainab. I should just become Zainab. After all that, it turned out to be that scoundrel from Crying Rock playing tricks. Did it indeed? I think this is procedurally generated. Thoughts? Maybe not. I don't know. She did seem very weak in the first fight. I could be playing on much, much higher difficulty than this. I am playing on the lowest possible difficulty level. So if it seems like the fights are very easy, that is perhaps why. Ah, the Afrit Mage. Hello. You made it! Thanks to the magical energies of the materials in this mine, I made it back safely. You can speak? That's right, I'm no humble slave. I have learned your inferior language. So this sect are trying to summon a powerful Afrit to this realm, and the Afrit before them is the object of their worship. How fresh, how sweet it is to return to this world. You shall be honored as my first sacrifice upon rebirth. You dare challenge the Afrit Mage? I dare! I'm afraid this isn't my first demon rodeo. Haha, <laughs> arrogance. Let me see then your strength and power, tiny ant. How big is this going to be? Oh, it's pretty big. But it has no health. It donked. Damn it, I actually don't think so highly of yourself. I'm just one lowly member of our group. When the others return, you will understand the true meaning of terror. Monsieur Conciliaire. This isn't what we agreed. Oh, why do they want to attack Redstone Keep? There must be some kind of misunderstanding. I'll get to the bottom of it. Our god has been downed. Quick, get out of here! The Redstone Keep won't spare any mercy. So, the Conciliaire was in on it. All along with these followers of the Fire God, they have fled, but you will face justice in the courtroom of the Red Keep. Damn it, I plead guilty. Well, that was... shouldn't... I don't know. I don't know how the law works here, but that seems like maybe you could work a little bit harder. You inform the officer of the guard at Redstone Keep and are rewarded handsomely. Thanks be to Jorbsimus for your contribution to Redstone Keep. That should be all we'll hear from those heathens for now. The Ember Mines need major work done, and they will definitely be back. We need men to fight alongside us. If you need a hand, come back to Redstone Keep. We are in your service. Okay, tell me more. What does that mean? What does it mean for you to be in my service? Summon the Flame Lawyer! Hello? It's Jorbs Amiss! People speak highly of you here. What brings you here? Hello? The Nasir will rule Selzar, one way or another. When I talk to you about something, what do you want to know? I would like you to give me control of this town. Nope. Need me to run an errand for you? There's a rogue near Campson Village who used tricks on me in the pit. I couldn't beat him. Now I want someone to teach him a lesson. Are you interested? If you get this done, I will reward you and teach you some skills. Uh, I'm willing to help. You said I could find him at the tavern in Campson Village? Correct. This rogue walks around the tavern earning a living through gambling. If you start a fight, he'll rise to the occasion. You teach him and his gang a lesson with your fists. Interesting. I can also get Fire Arcano now. Many come to me seeking to learn the fire sorcery. Learn fire sorcery. You'll need to demonstrate your word. I did that already, didn't I? No, I didn't. Oh, I know what that is. That's this thing, right? Or maybe it's this thing. 
one of the two. But yeah, I haven't done that yet, actually. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, chatters. My wand broke? No. <gasps> My wand! I didn't realize we had durability. It's unfortunate. I must go have dinner. And also prepare for tomorrow. And check in with Bloody. Wonder how Bloody's doing. There is apparently equipment durability. If this game looked interesting to you, you can check it out on Steam at yonder link. No, yes, no, yes, this one, this one, that one. I will copy paste it in chat for those of you who have the bot blocked already as well. Oof, I hope you're all doing well. I hope that December is treating you nicely. You're with family. I hope it's going great. This game was sweet. 